dear participants welcome to the day 5 of blockchain and iot refresher program in today's session we have dr gurraj hl uh, who's going to speak about blockchain technology and its application in session 2 we have krishna mohan patel he is going to speak on the topic future scope of blockchain technology and uh, followed by in the third session we have prachi adhikari she is going to speak about applications of blockchain in finance and uh, the concluding session will be handled by dr bhavana prasad she is going to speak on stress management now i would like to call professor jyoti k s department of computer science to introduce uh, dr gurraj hl over to you ma'am uh, good morning everyone uh, it's nice to and it's nice and pleasure to introduce gururaj uh, uh, welcome gururaj so let me introduce uh, gururaj hl dr gururaj hl is currently working as associate professor in the department of computer science and engineering he holds his uh, phd degree from uh, computer science and engineering from vishwavidyalaya technological university belagavi in the year 2019 he has 12 years of uh, experience teaching experience in both ug and pg level he is a professional and senior member of acm he is the founder of wireless internet working group that is wing and he is also the lifetime member of cryptology society of india and senior member of ieee computer society and dr gururaj is appointed as acm distinguished speaker by acm us council he received young scientist award from its science and engineering research board department of science and technology government of india in december 2016 He also received Best Project Guide Award uh, consecutively for three years at Malnad College of Engineering uh, during 15, 16, and 17. And he has also worked as special editor of EAI Publisher and guest editor of uh, Springer Journal. And he has many papers, nearly 75 to 100 papers reviewed, and he has 30 paper published in various international conferences. and he has delivered more than 100 technical talks uh, across the globe uh, as a acm distinguished speaker like iit kanpur uh, nit surat kal and uh, even in uh, he's a keynote speaker at update europe conference in 2020 and uh, he has is the tpc member keynote speaker and advisory committee member at many national and international uh, seminars workshops and conferences across the globe and he has received many grants from csir and aacte so he has many more feathers in his cap and wishing many more uh, uh, welcome to the session gururaj thank you yes madam thank you thank you so much uh, so let's start sir uh, yeah you can take over the session yeah uh, okay uh, thank you very good morning to all present here and uh, uh, respected uh, you know coordinators and my uh, co professional colleagues and my friends uh, who are assembled here virtually for this you know refreshing program uh, let me share my screen and uh, let me uh, you know uh, start my session as a topic of the day is yes, uh, you know blockchain technology and its application let me uh, spend most of the time on uh, what exactly the meaning of blockchain how exactly blockchain works and later uh, the rest of the session i'll take on a few applications whatever we built uh, at my community research okay uh, i hope so the screen visible can i get some uh, can i get some acknowledgement yes sir yes sir Yes, perfect. Okay, uh, so I I I guess uh, blockchain is a new terminology, which uh, it's a geek word which uh, uh, roams across the globe. Uh, like uh, as we have IoT, machine learning, and other technologies. In the meanwhile, we have the blockchain technology. Okay, so blockchain uh, the technology it's not a new technology. Uh, basically, we have a th- two main architectures of computer networks. If you would have heard of this name, computer networks. basically we have two important architecture one is centralized network and one is decentralized network 
and we all know almost all top not uh, you know leading companies like amazon google uh, facebook they all following the fundamental architecture of uh, you know cent lines i mean to say client server architecture even today the other technology what we have is uh, decentralized systems we can also call it as uh, peer to peer architecture even though we have a lot of drawbacks in a centralized system uh, people are still following uh, the same architecture because they don't want to give ownership to anybody okay say so in case of google in case of amazon you can take up the example of any uh, you know example they all still following the fundamental architecture like fundamental you know mechanism of you know this you know uh, client server the reason is that they don't want to give the ownership that's all that's the only fundamental reason okay so the other technology what we have as uh, you know peer to peer architecture or other in the other way we can call it as decentralized systems in decentralized systems we don't have a concept of centralized body or we don't have a concept of server at all each and every node individually behaves by their own okay so that is what exactly we can call it as a decentralized system and that is what exactly the blockchain follows the fundamental principle of decentralized systems okay so uh, basically uh, this technology is not new but the usage of this technology is very wide and the people are lagging behind this because of some security principles security aspects and advanced security things whatever they have added for this technology okay uh, so uh, uh, to go with the formal definition of the blockchain technology guys if you have any questions at any point of time please stop me at any point of time i can answer for your questions or else you can put up your questions in the chat window i'll take up all your questions at the end of my session okay uh, to go with the formal definition of the blockchain blockchain is a continuously growing list of records called blocks which are linked and secured using cryptography okay so the uh, i think we all know about linked list if you have uh, Heard of this name linked list with respect to one of the data structure. Each and every node depends upon the uh, their neighboring nodes. Correct? No, they are linked to each other. Similarly, here also, instead of calling them as uh, linked nodes, we can call them as blocks. Okay. So to give a greater details of what is block and what consists of uh, the block and all, will uh, in, a, in, a, in a few minutes I'll uh, explain the greater details of the blocks. Those blocks are connected, and obviously there will be an interdependency. Okay, so if the node number block number one, uh, for example, block number two uh, has to depend upon block number one and block number three, and it goes on. Okay, as number of blocks in my network I have, the complexity of the network will be more, and at the same time, the more complexity will be there, the more computation power will be there, and obviously the ultimate goal of this blockchain technology is I need security. security is the prime principle and we we use some uh, you know security principles of cryptography like hash function or hash value for this technology okay the, these are two famous scientists see many people will have a misconception that bitcoin and blockchain bitcoin is nothing but a pseudo currency that is no way relevant to blockchain technology bitcoin uh, talks about the currency that is used to exchange, do a transaction same as of a rupee or something but the technology what the bank follows is something like a centralized system the technology is totally different the currency what they use is totally different many people will have misconception that blockchain like bitcoin are they all almost same it is acquired and all no blockchain is a methodology or technology bitcoin is a currency or bitcoin is a you know uh, kind of uh, pseudo currency that will be used to do a transaction okay Uh, the uh, uh, you know starter and uh, scott they developed this uh, technology and bitcoin i think we all know that there is no actual person who developed the Bit uh, bitcoin uh, there is a person called satoshi nakamoto is the name itself is pseudo hmm. the person itself is not there some white paper he published in uh, 2008 and all and uh, by some false name called satoshi nakamoto and they kept the same name and we even today will follow he is the uh, founder of that but that person itself is not existing Okay, so that is all about the basics of uh, you know Bitcoin and blockchain. As I mentioned, the block each and every block consists of three pieces of information, three uh, you know uh, uh, separate principles of information. One is data, one is previous hash value, and one is the current hash value. Previous uh, the data is nothing but the data which you intended to transmit from your end to the other end. It's called as data. How we are going to send the data? Not in the normal way. I mean, not on the same you know same data are going to transmit. Instead, you are going to uh, you require two hash values: the hash value of the previous uh, block and the hash value of the current block. Uh, I mean to say, the hash value whatever you computed for this data, that will be the hash value of the 
current block. What about the previous hash value? The block, uh, the previous block, whatever the hash value computed, that will become the previous hash value of the this current block. Okay. So the any block or any uh, no, uh, node in case of blockchain technology, blockchain network consists of three pieces of information. The data he wanted to transmit, the previous uh, no, uh, 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 hash value and the current hash value. And obviously there will, there will be a question, correct? No? So what about the first block of a blockchain network? The first block will not at all having any previous blocks, right? That block is called as Genesis block. Okay, I can have this. The first block is called as what? Genesis block. There's no concept of uh, a previous block for this particular first block of the network. Hence, this block previous hash value will be by default embedded data as zero. Understood? Okay, so uh, this, sorry. Uh, this hash value, whatever I have computed, this hash value will be the hash value of this block, current block. The hash value, whatever we compute in this block, that becomes a previous hash value of the second block. And the hash value computed in the second block becomes a previous hash value for the third block. And this goes on. Please remember, the first block, whatever we have embedded, the first block is called as what? Genesis block. It's not going to have any kind of previous hash value. Okay, and uh, uh, you all uh, can see the uh, see the relevance of each and every block. For example, if something changes has been happened in the first block, obviously that will affect the second block. Why? Because it will carry the information of the first block hash value. Similarly, some changes happened in the second block, obviously that will affect the third block. Why? Because the third, second block uh, is having some relevance with the third block hash value. Understood. So this is all about uh, the security, but uh, it also plays a very important role, uh, which uh, you know uh, make sure uh, how the dependencies. Uh, some transaction happen, and that will that will be not known to the respective person after after many days, after many months, he came to know. Right, right? So all those kind of uh, you know uh, that uh, you know bank transaction, unknown transactions happens, or some amount has been deducted in your bank, and all. Uh, will be not known to anybody, correct? So those kind of drawbacks can be overcome with the help of uh, this connection of uh, blockchain technology. And uh, we have five principles of blockchain technology. Let me deal with all the five principles in the first half of my session. Uh, the five principles are consensus. It uses consensus protocol. It uses hash cryptography. It uses immutable ledger. It uses distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. And it uses the functionality of mining. We'll deal with one by one in a greater details. These are uh, and commonly uh, there are three important principles called as DIT. Okay, three pillars of blockchain technology. D stand for distributed. I stand for immutable. T stand for transparency. Okay, the uh, uh, the the researchers keep on calling the blockchain technology have three pillars of concepts, which are those DIT. DIT. Okay, so D stand for distributed, I stand for immutability, and T stand for transparency. Keeping those three pillar blocks, uh, we have defined five major principles. Uh, what we have uh, uh, decided: one is hash cryptography, immutable ledger, distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, mining, and consensus protocol. These are five important uh, concepts that is going to deal by blockchain. Let me discuss one by one. Uh, hash value, I think many of you people know about hashing. I'm not talking about the hashing of your algorithms or something like that. I'm talking about the hashing of a cryptography. Okay. Uh, in cryptography, hash value will be generated using some mathematical uh, functionalities. I'm not going to deal with any uh, stuff on uh, uh, you know, how it will be generated and all. So uh, uh, one such hashing algorithm is SHA-256. We have a lot of other hashing algorithms also. One such hashing algorithm is uh, secure hash authentication to the six algorithm. A lot of other hashing algorithms are also available, like it might be HMSC, hash message, secure uh, authentication uh, code, or it might be RC5, RC4, called as device set cipher. A lot of other hashing algorithms are there. Uh, out of those, one of the secure and standard algorithms is SHA 256 and they decided to use this algorithm in this blockchain because of its you know, security principles. Okay. Uh, obviously, this is the one of the most secure hashing algorithm uh, compared to all of the other uh, hashing algorithms. Hence, they have you uh, decided to use this hashing. Okay, so keep this in your mind. Hashing uh, the hash uh, the output of any hashing algorithm will be called as hash value. We can also call it as hash code, hash code or hash value are one and the same. 
okay so uh, as we may have some redundancy in fingerprints but it will be completely not same with the other person correct now so uh, it will become uh, somewhat uh, it may look similar but it's not totally same so there will be unique uh, you know, hash value for each and every data each and every piece of data that uh, the whatever the hash value will get is it will be completely unique okay Similarly, the hash value also. And the hash value computed for any data, it might be Word, PDF, or whatever, uh, for the output of SHA-256 algorithm will be 64 character uh, no, hash code, 64 characters hash code. So each character will have a size of 4 bits. Totally, the output will be 256 bits. Okay, so the 64 character hash code uh, will be the output of this particular uh, algorithm okay so and you may have a question what is the input size of this hashing algorithm hashing will take any kind of input data but uh, uh it will be considering uh it will be taking any kind of input data any variable size of input data but the output will be always a fixed length data okay the output of any hashing algorithm will be having a fixed length data but the output of uh you know the input of any hashing algorithm will be a variable size data Okay, so the fixed length they based on the type of algorithm or what we are going to use. In this Hathaway uh, Tofte six, the algorithm uh, is of Tofte six size, uh, so the output will be of sixty four characters. And as I already mentioned, the five principles of uh, uh, SHA-256, one is one-way function. What is one-way function? Well, for the input data, I'll get the output value of hash code or hash value. But by keeping the hash value, I cannot able to get back here the uh, input data. That is not uh, irreversible. Okay. So that is the meaning of one-way function. Keeping the data, I will get the hash value. But keeping the hash value, it's impossible. It's not practically possible to get back an input data. It's a deterministic. The meaning of deterministic is it's not uh, you know, uh, varied for different data. So it will be uh, unique for each and every data. And far, it does not mean that it will take a lot of time to compute. As the researchers, they went with this algorithm, it will take it's, it's fast computation. Okay. So avalanche effect, I think many of you people know about this. Avalanche effect is one of the prime principle of cryptography in which uh, if you have changed a small change in the data, that will affect the output very drastically. This has been avoided in DS algorithm of uh, you know, cryptography, in which if you have made a small change, any of the iterations or any input, it will obviously affect the output. A small change will output affect the output very drastically. It will the lot of changes we can see. That is the meaning of uh, avalanche effect. Obviously, this is, uh, for example, I am sending a data uh, called uh, an ABC. The hash value of ABC is something like some data I'll get, a hash value I'll get. For same thing for AB, instead of passing AB, if you have passed AB, just AB, uh, the hash value will be completely changed. It cannot be the same for the previous data, what I would pass for ABC. Okay, so that is the meaning of avalanche effect. The small change uh, will also affect the output very drastically. And collision, uh, many people will ask a question like, sir, if you would have sent the same data at the same time, same data at the same time, obviously the hash value will be same right yeah sometimes it will be same but many a times it will also consider the time slice at what time it will send for example i'm going to send a data of abc and some other some other block will also send a data of abc but whatever the time slices they'll send like for example at five seconds uh, or one hour five seconds or what the time slices will also be uh, analyzed and considered and for that also it will be compute the hash value so there will be no point of having the same data same uh, hash value and all it will be hash value will be totally uh, different okay so i will uh, show you something on the screen to understand it in a better way mm, i think my browser is visible uh, can i get some acknowledgement yes sir visible yeah thank you Okay. okay, this is one open source website. Uh, they have developed, uh, no, uh, uh, they have implemented blockchain technology. You know, just for your understanding, as you are a starter of this blockchain technology, you can uh, uh, no, go through this first and then you can go with the other things. Okay, So that makes you feel comfortable how we can you know uh, understand the blockchain principles perfectly. Let me give a data 
something like CIT, an example, will get some hash value, right? Let me remove T, immediately the hash value change. Let me remove I, immediately hash value change. This also implement this, you know, uh, free open source website. They have used, uh, they have implemented using FHA 256 and they have used uh, all the principles of you know, blockchain and they have implemented uh, the small website uh, for the other, uh, you know, understanding you can use this okay let me give this is all about as i mentioned any block will consist of three pieces of information data hash value and the previous hash value and i have taken only one block no point of previous hash value let me take up the block okay and each block will be having block number nonce value nonce value is the value that will be considered only once in the iteration hence it is called a n once okay it's called as n ones nonce stand for n ones okay it will be not considered more than that okay so n ones stand for if you can able to use it only once in the iteration hence it is called as n ones okay so i'll, I'll deal more on this later when i'm talking about your uh, uh, mining technology or mining operation i'll speak more on this let me take some data, uh, an example, CAD. Uh, let me, I uh, will get the hash value. And again, as I mentioned, mining, I'll, I'll speak on mining later. Okay. Let me, and let, let me speak more on blockchain right now and uh, uh, the features of blockchain. The other things I'll speak, hash values, features of hash value and all. Mining technology, I'll speak later. Okay. So as in this example, I've taken three blocks. Block number one, block number two, uh, block number three. Okay. So... Uh, what we can do is you can check out you can check out the three blocks each block will be having initially with a different nonce value and i'll give some data in the first block as cit so i'll have as i mentioned over the first block of your blockchain uh, it's called as what genesis block right so this will be obviously having the previous hash value as zero. The current hash value will be some data that will be generated for this data, right now. Uh, and we'll uh, uh, get this, My, I have mined this. I'll tell you about mining later. If you have observed the second block, I have a date, let me give some name of mine, an example. So I'll get, I'll mine this for a particular my, uh, you know, nonce value, I I'll be getting the mind and I'll get the value. You can check out the hash value of the first block and the hash value of the uh, previous hash value of the second block. It will be the same by default. Right? Similarly, for the block number three, let me take an example of. Uh, mm, okay. An example. Okay. So let me take the example and some random name I had taken here. And if you mine this, it will be mined. And obviously, it will take some time to mine by default. Mining is not so simple, it's a larger process. It's a laborious process and you can check out here the hash value of your previous second block will be the hash value of your third block in the previous hash value of the uh, block in the third one okay so this follows let me uh, tell you the understanding of the you know uh, the concept of uh, you know conflict if you would have removed uh, u it will affect the block number three also so if you have made the change it will make the things if you have changed to block number three it will not affect block number two or one why because it's not dependent but block number uh, three depend upon block number two right similarly i'll change this to a let me change something here obviously it will affect the next two blocks why because block number one data is dependent upon block number two and block number two data is dependent upon block number three and this, this is all about uh, how hash value will be computed how you know the relevance uh, will be there Mm, and any type of data you pass in this example i've taken the data from text data and all and the real-time examples if you want to use a test bit of blockchain networks and all you can take up the data of word file any file and you can able to send the data using the sq channel using the hash value okay so there also if you're passing some image or if you've done some transaction or if you've done some uh, some operation so there also uh, you can able to uh, do the operation. Uh, uh, you can verify all these uh, uh, principles uh, uh, in your uh, you know, blockchain technology. Okay. I hope so. You got some basics of blockchain, and uh, I believe you got so. Uh, by keeping that in my mind, let me go for the next part of my presentation. 
uh, yeah, uh, this is a website. You, you can also try it here. And, uh, please try it here and tools.supertatasense.com. Uh, uh, um, it's, it's a wonderful website. They are developed uh, based on completely hashing algorithm. And you can try out for various things. Okay, mm, and I have mentioned very important uh, property of blockchain. The second important property of blockchain is immutable ledger. Ledger, I think, when you heard of this name, ledger, I think, uh, 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 for classical uh, classical ledger, uh, you can uh, assume if you want to enter any lab or if you want to enter any library, uh, it might be an extra. You have to uh, enter your details in a book, so it will be recorded uh, the login time, logout time, and all. And that is what about a ledger, if you would have heard of log file or ledger. So what is immutability? Once entered, it should not be changed. That's called as immutable property. Immutability. The vocabulary sense of immutability is once you enter the data, that should not be changed. But in case of immu uh, this, you know, uh, uh, immutable ledger, in your regular ledger, whatever uh, we have used, that can be alarms and modified with the help of overwriting or can uh, do something at all. So, keeping those drawbacks in your mind, one of the fundamental operation of, you know, fundamental, you know, um, uh, usage of this blockchain is immutable ledger property. The thing is, uh, the one of the application of this is, uh, if you have remember, land ledger records. Uh, the only state across India uh, they are trying to implement the complete land ledger records to blockchain technology is Telangana government. They, uh, they are trying to do it. Okay, we can check out in Google regarding that. Uh, I know, uh, uh, they are, uh, I know they are, uh, uh, a blockchain in Telangana the, for land ledger records. They are implementing this project for all land land ledgers in that state. Uh, the the major drawback of the existing system is anybody can uh, know uh, by knowingly or unknowingly you may say that I, I have 10 acres of land you may have some proof but if uh, some some data has been if you want to change uh, to the ownership or if you want to do some modification you have to go with the regular affidavit you have to contact the lawyer you have to do the, those things and all that but something has been manipulated by knowingly or unknowingly you'll be the you'll be the you know you'll face the problems so why can't we have a blockchain technology if any small modification has been done that should be notified to each and every person in the blockchain network and ultimately the person can take the action immediately after some days, after some years, uh, we we should not uh, no, get alert and all. Immediately we can take the action. That is an important job, important aspect of uh, immutable ledger. Immutability is nothing but once enter the data that cannot be changed until unless everyone has to approve in the network. Okay, So that is what uh, the land deed records or land ledger records. The traditional ledger you are writing and uh, a lot of attacks will happen. I don't want to explain the things in the uh, you know live uh, examples. Uh, a lot of you know, uh, you know influencing factors or with respect to political and all will happen. We we used to say it. I don't want to mention the things at all. Those uh, things can be avoided, or immediately the people will take up the action on this. Uh, and uh, whoever uh, uh, are the concerned authorities, they can take up the action using blockchain technology. You can see here. But once anybody change the data or something like for this, immediately that will be notified to all. All will change. So later they came to know that it is not the actual one. He's an attacker. So because all these are uh, regular, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they came to know that it's not uh, you know, somebody has changed the network. Immediately all this will take up the action. Understood. This is a major aspect of um, blockchain technology uh, by which we can uh, achieve uh, you know, non proof data uh, data viability in, in our network. Okay, So nobody will be able to uh, change the data once after feeding the data to a system. Uh, some worst case, if they want to change, they can change it. It does not mean that you cannot be able to change it. But it requires a lot of permissions, it requires a lot of uh, uh, other uh, uh, things, you know. So this is all about, um, uh, okay. So this is all about uh, uh, one important principle of blockchain technology called as immutable ledger.
And the next important property we have called as distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. I think many of you people know about distributed. I think I, even in the initial, uh, uh, initially I had given the brief introduction towards uh, uh, you know, uh, distributed systems and centralized systems. In centralized systems, we have a centralized node, but in case of distributed, we don't have. How this peer-to-peer -peer network uh, uh, supports blockchain? Because uh, there's no point of... Uh, you know, no point of uh, uh, centralized network. We have to follow for each and every transaction. We have to uh, contact the server. No, there is no point of centralized system at all. So uh, we can take up the example. Each and uh, let me assume I have one in this network. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks are there. How many transactions that have happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The how many transactions happened in this network? Eight transactions. How we came to know eight transactions? Because each and every node having that transaction. For example, some new transaction happened by some this node. An example, this node. Immediately, the transaction has to be notified to all the nodes. Okay, so the better example for this is in your bank, in your bank account, some five rupees is detected, it will not bother a lot. If something like from thousand rupees or some more bigger amount is deducted, he'll, he'll, he'll uh, take it seriously and he'll take up the action or he'll contact the branch and all. But the five rupees, it is even though it is a smaller amount that may be deducted daily or it may be uh, deducted not only from your account, every account. By keeping that in their mind, by keeping that in their mind, they can able to uh, uh, know, take up the uh, action uh, not seriously. But if the same transaction has been notified to everyone in the block, for example, somebody has got detected some bigger amount and that uh, not, uh, transaction should be notified to everyone, they can immediately take up the action or they can immediately um, ask the bank people to do it. Uh, some some measurement measures can be taken care of. Care, care, so those uh, you know, uh, distributed peer-to-peer -peer network uh, when the fields uh, very uh, uh, but concept of transparency. Now, as I mentioned very clearly, distributed immutable property transparency. Transparency can be achieved with the help of this because each and every transaction happen in the network that should be notified to all other in the network. So as I mentioned, some new block has new data has been affected. Immediately, the transaction has to be notified to everyone. Okay. But uh, in the meanwhile, after many transactions, some data, they uh, one of the node, uh, one of the block, or uh, one of the block node, they feel that it's not a uh, right one. What they have to do is immediately that has to be notified to its concerned people, like it's uh, no, uh, uh, this one. Okay, so uh, the immediately the transaction will be notified to this one this node and this node because they are connected but it will be not stood up why because the majority of the people they believe that it's the right one okay correct like you may feel that one two three but majority of the people like one two and other also three four five this also only this node feels that it's a wrong node so they feels that no it's a right node because even though it may connect it with this this and this node this node is also connected with this node this node is also connected with this node. This node is also connected with this node. Right? So they feel that no, it is not a wrong node. It's a right, right transaction. Okay. So this is all about the concept of distributed peer-to-peer -peer network and uh, its uh, uh, you know, fundamental features. The next thing is the mining property, as I mentioned very clearly. Mining is a, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I think many of you people know about uh, mining, right? Data mining or uh, some natural you know, mine, mining the ore and all. Or the major the, uh, vocabulary sense of mining, you are searching the, searching the required thing. It might be of uh, data, concerned with data mining, uh, any ore concerned with respect to ore mining or uh, gold with respect to gold mining or whatever. Correct? The mining is nothing but searching the data, searching the required uh, aspect. Correct? So when we talk about uh, when we talk about uh, this blockchain mining concept, the for example, I am uh, I wanted to there, there is already an existing blockchain network, and I wanted to add I wanted to join that blockchain network. An example. I wanted to join that blockchain network. I cannot join like as I want. Okay, there is some rules and there, there are some you know uh, possible protocols or possible uh, conditions they have uh, if I want to join the uh, blockchain network. Okay, so what I have to do, for example, let me assume I want to join block number three has to join the network. What is the transaction? He transfers the data of Kale to Hadlin with this transaction and whatever the transaction is having some 
data and all okay uh, what the miner they, they are the concept of mining and miner miner is the one they will uh, roll on the mine uh, roll on the uh, no mathematical complex mathematical uh, uh, you know uh, things to the uh, user who wanted to join this blockchain network okay for example i want to join the blockchain network and i have to solve that my ma uh, no minor uh, request um, you know minor conditions and i have to satisfy the condition and then have to uh, then only they'll allow us to join the network what i'll do i will how it will be how this mining will be does there will be a value called as threshold value what is the threshold value the value that is a minimal hash value of that network is called as threshold hash value okay so using the nonce value who will achieve or who will uh, come up with that uh, lies between that minimum hash value he will be the winner and he will be added to the blockchain by default okay so uh, uh, for this the by default zero hash value nonce value I'll, uh, and once the nonce value is used it should not be used in the complete uh, uh, you know blockchain uh, uh, again okay so let me take up the nonce value 20 for that i'll get a hash value of something and again i'll have a ha hash value a nonce value of 21 i'll get a hash value of uh, something whatever this previous hash value it will not change why because it's a previous one i'm talking about only with respect to the present hash value correct right? for this uh, data for this transaction and i have to compute the hash value using this nonce value okay so as i mentioned these are the all possible hash values we can have as i mentioned the highest moderate and minimal this minimal range whatever we have any hash value that appears within this range we can call the as a winner and we can add him to the blockchain network for uh, as i mentioned this is a tra target or threshold okay for the nonce value 143 i'll get the hash value like this for the nonce value uh 5021 the nonce hash value will lies within this range hence we can decide this as a winner and we can add him to the block network okay so blockchain existing network understood so this is all about uh, you know, the mining process it's keep on repeating the nonce by using the nonce value he will fed the fed the data to the hashing algorithm he'll get the hash value but the hash value is not minimal and it's not lies within this range it will change the hash value and again it will operate same thing I have explained when I was explaining this, you know, uh, things and all. One would deal with uh, this kind of, um, okay, uh, operations or something like this. We have an operation of mining, right? For for example, uh, I'll, I'll come back to hash a block. Okay, Here, uh, I'll give a data something like GHL, an example. And if I press the uh, uh, button mine, immediately you can check up the nonce value it will keep on change because for the corresponding nonce value only the data will be uh you know, matched right now i can check it out for certain the certain hash value this data will compute this hash value what is this hash value the value that appears as a minimum or threshold value understood okay so this is all about i hope so you got uh some basics of mining uh so this is how the mining uh in blockchain technology uh works and he will be considered uh, him as a winner and he will be uh, make him to join the blockchain network okay so this uh, this is one more important concept or one more important uh, uh, feature or principle of blockchain technology called as mining and commonly it's called as mining or we can also call it as blockchain mining byzantine fault tolerance again it is one more important classical principle of blockchain technology and uh, to decide who is a winner or uh, how it can be does okay so again byzantine fault tolerance it's a old classical attack very old classical attack as this technology booms and they have started uh, implementing these uh, old uh, things to the blockchain technology let me explain this byzantine fault tolerance with an example uh byzantine again it's a uh, fort and all uh, they developed this uh, they thought of um, you know implementing the same thing because the people are uh, they cannot able to communicate each other directly so they'll pass information to one and they will indirectly pass information to other and uh, ultimately they'll come to a conclusion and there will be a node called as leader node or we can also call it as the head of uh, the soldiers and we can call it as leader node here right now and we we uh, these four people job is to attack this fort or not to attack this fort okay so what this leader node will does 
he will send a message to its neighbor this node and this you can check out here he will send a message to whom he will send a message to the this node and uh, the this node and this node and uh, once he send a message to attack the fort obviously everyone got uh, maximum uh, uh, values of attacks no point of negative one only they'll attack this fort okay the concept of this is uh, many times you can you can check out here i think i have uh, said about this here even though they feel that this is not a valid node he may send the data to these three nodes he may send they he may send the wrong information to the, these three nodes but they don't believe it's a wrong information why because the other nodes will also send the information right now so there in which we can use the fundamental principle of byzantine fault tolerance itself you can see here this is a leader node he will send a message he'll broadcast a message to the node number one node number two and node number three Node number one will broadcast a message to node number uh, two and node number uh, three, and he also send a broadcast message to leader node. Similarly, the this node and similarly this node, and ultimately each and every node will get how many messages? Three messages to attack. Obviously, they'll attack this fort. Let me assume the other scenario. They might be an attacker in the network, right? So, uh, the, as I mentioned, as I shown the example in the previous uh, uh, the distributed network, they might be an attacker. What this attacker node will does? He will send a wrong message to these two nodes. He cannot send the message to the leader node, obviously, right? Why he can't send the message? Because if you send a message, the leader will come to know that uh, he is the attacker node. So what he does, he will not send a message to leader node. He will send a message to the other nodes, this the uh, soldier and this soldier. What, uh, how, how it works? But this leader node, by default, will send a message to this node, this node, and this node. And uh, and this node will send a message to this node and this node. He will not send a message back to this node. Let me assume in that way. Similarly, the this node will send a message to this node and this node. He will not send back to uh, the leader node. How many yes we have? Let me check out. Uh, obviously, leader node will say yes by default. How many the node number this will have? He got to attack one request and two requests. He got one message not to attack. So which is the highest we have? Two. Uh, to attack node so he will accept to attack similarly for this node how many requests you got not to attack only one request how many requests you got to attack one and two so obviously he has to go towards two that is he will also attack out of this four nodes how many nodes they are ready to attack node number one, leader node node number four and node number three so obviously the out of four three nodes are ready to attack they'll attack the fourth Okay. So many times the leader node itself is an attacker node. Correct? Now, these are some scenarios of Byzantine fault tolerance. Okay. So many times the leader node might be an attacker node. What, what happens when the uh, leader node itself is an attacker node? Okay. So the leader node will broadcast a message only to one or the other node that not to attack because uh, he will come to can, uh, the attack. The uh, other soldiers will immediately come to a conclusion that the leader node itself is an attacker node. So what he does, he will send a message only. Uh, he will send a message uh, only to this node. Okay. So this node will broadcast a message. Uh, uh, he uh, this node will broadcast a message to this node and also to this node. Okay. So uh, uh, again, they'll take up the uh, highest uh, values and they'll decide whether to attack or whether not to attack. Okay. So again, uh, they'll uh, take up the uh, no, maximum values and uh, this will ready to attack. This is also ready to attack and this also ready to attack and ultimately will attack. So it's all about, uh, you know, uh, it's all about uh, the maximum values to attack and not to attack. That's all. Right. I hope so. You got some concept of Byzantine fault tolerance also. So uh, you may have a question. So where it all will be used and where it will be, you know, Thing, uh, it will be implemented whenever uh, the blockchain technology some wrong, wrong transaction happens and all we should not come to the conclusion that it's a wrong one some wrong transaction or wrong thing and all we have to decide uh, what is happening and what is uh, uh, not uh, happening based on that only we can able to decide whether to attack or whether not to attack okay so this is all about uh, uh, Byzantine fault tolerance and the next last topic is uh, uh, we have a uh, okay uh, consensus protocol. One more important feature of blockchain technology. 
and when we talk about consensus protocol uh we have uh, you know a uh, consensus mechanism is nothing but compromise or uh, uh, getting uh, uh, compromised with the attack. Uh, con uh, it's nothing but compromising, okay? How the consensus protocol works, uh, uh, if it is an attacker, how it will be get compromised, or how it will be not get compromised, okay? See, whenever I have a node number one, uh, the challenge one, the attackers, see, at the same time, there might be a competing node which to which one it has to get compromised both transaction has to solve the complex mathematical equation using the nonce value has they have to compute the hash value and which is the minimum one they will be in the network by default cartella why because it's a new transaction and then how 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 this consensus protocol works based on two important uh, principles one is proof of work and one is proof of stake Proof of work is nothing but the uh, methodology, sorry, the principle what they have used for getting the hash value, uh, how we have solved the uh, complex mathematical things. Uh, that is all about proof of work. What are the uh, what are the values they have used, and what are the uh, you know invariables they have used? What are the segregates they have used to get back the actual value? It's called as proof of stake. That is the major difference between proof of work and proof of stake. Using these two principles, the consensus protocol works. Similarly, in this, even though these two competing ch chains, they are they wanted to add the network at the same time, whether this has to be acceptable by acceptable by all the nodes, or whether this transaction has to be acceptable by other all the nodes. At such situation, there will be a concept of consensus protocol, and it has to analyze both the principles. One is proof of work, and one is proof of stake. Based on those two important principles, then only they will come to a conclusion for adding those two things to the network. Okay, you can check out here. Even though this transaction is, uh, uh, we can have the transaction with all the nodes. Uh, the maximum nodes will be having uh, uh, no, which tra which transactions are acceptable by maximum nodes based on proof of work and proof of stake that will be considered and the other nodes will be uh, considered as orphan blocks. Why? Because it is not a block that will be considered for the transaction. I hope so I have convinced with uh, you know, uh, the basics of blockchain technology with uh, uh, you know, all the principles and all. So quickly let me... Uh, Oh, show you something. The my next part of my presentation on you know, applications of blockchain technology. So that is all about blockchain technology and I have convinced few uh, basic fundamental principles of blockchain technology, I believe. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can put up a question. Blockchain technology, it's not about, uh, oh, you know, uh, the methodology is very old, as I uh, said already. Uh, the the usage is very uh, uh, huge nowadays because wherever they identify the concept of block, you know, the central system, they feel that it's uh, having a lot of drawbacks. Immediately, people uh, start finding the uh, concept of uh, uh, implementing uh, uh, you know, blockchain technology to that. One such example is uh, language records and a lot of other examples. Few applications what were built, uh, some pretty fascinating applications what were built. You may feel it's very simple, but we thought uh, of these are the wide platforms we can implement the uh, uh, no, blockchain application for this. One such application is e-voting. Okay. E you have to identify where is the concept of uh, uh, centralized and you have to remove that with the help of blockchain technology. That's all. Or well, e-voting, I think you believe. Uh, voting system. Even today, the classical voting system is a mechanism uh, 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 in which uh, they will uh, cast the vote uh, by going to the uh, booth uh, and all. It's a classical thing and all. It's a centralized mechanism and all. E-voting system uh, we can do with the help of blockchain technology using uh, you know, hash value and without having any data tampering. You know? Again, see, ultimately, when we talk about any advancements in any technology, they, there will be a drawback. But this is one such applications where we can implement 
okay so how this works is uh, uh, we, we we have created uh, the you know uh, candidates how many candidates we want and we have created uh, uh, the you know uh, the booth uh, like uh, how, uh, how uh, the user can cast the vote using his own hash value that will be acting as a uh, password uh, own hash value he can able to give the hash value then only it will be uh, uh, authenticated and uh, for every transaction this has been constructed with the help of uh, ethereum blockchain uh, so we can see here we can have the uh, concept of uh, gas bond some gas bond will be uh, taken up for the other uh, transaction uh, and uh, this, this is a meta mask uh, this is, has been embedded for uh, uh, the user interface and this is all about uh, uh, you know, web, web, web application and that has been connected with the MetaMask. I'll show you the MetaMask IO or later. Okay. So whatever the transaction that happens, some amount uh, uh, the, uh, the for each and every transaction, it will be detected with some gas value. And the, uh, if you want to show the odds at the same time, whenever we cast the vote, you can show it. Or else, if you if it fe if you feels that uh, it will be a, a problem for the people to uh, uh, have the uh, you know votings in the same time, you can keep the vote by masking it, and you can release the final odds later. But at the back end, everything will be recorded. You can see that. This is one example. Of what we feel that why can't we implement? Uh, E voting system was there. It's like uh, electronic voting system was there. Uh, electronic voting system with the help of blockchain, and uh, 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 it is what we built and we have. Uh, it's a old project actually uh, from two years back. You know, one more pet shop. I think uh, in Western countries, adoption of pet animals uh, is uh, you know very fascinating and all the only thing is whenever I feel that they could not able to take care of the animal they leave the uh, pet, pet animals in the road itself or they here and there and that feels that it's a major drawback and uh, Mm, that uh, concise the uh, 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 no, um, it will not concise the uh, prime principle of adopting the cage curricula. So we thought of having uh, the complete digital payments and everything has to be done with the help of blockchain technology. And if you want to adopt the pet animal, you should adopt completely or else you should not leave it. If anything happens, that will be recorded and that will be uh, 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 get to know. Okay, so that is one thing. If you want, all the pet animals will be displayed, which are uh, to be adopted, and you can uh, take out the pet animal, and everything will be recorded and everything will be maintained uh, with the same. Uh, and all these things has been built with the help of JavaScript, the backend, and using the Ethereum tool uh, uh, for this MetaMask. Okay, uh, so this is one more important, um, you know. Uh, uh, transaction, uh, you know, uh, important uh, uh, transaction. What's happened? Okay. Now this is one more the uh, thing which uh, uh, and one more application is crowdfunding. I think crowdfunding uh, this requires the uh, advantage of transparency, right? See, uh, what is the meaning of crowdfunding? Some natural calamities or floods or somebody, people who are in need of medical emergency and all. We eagerly wanted to help by default as a humanity concern. Right? But we're not sure whether the amount has been used properly by the th that person or not. That usage identification can be done with the help of blocking technology if you have implemented with the help of crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is nothing but the place uh, like it's a social platform or so wherever you're going to advertise the uh, the people concerned towards the medical emergency or towards any flood emergency or whatever. The people can donate the amount and all the amount usage will be get to know until unless that amount will be spent on that particular person. But nowadays what happens right now in the classical technology, we whatever the amount we have spent, whatever amount we have transferred it will be done that's all but i don't know whether the amount has been used perfectly for the respect usage or not those transactions can be uh you know, you know monitored or that those transactions can be used uh, you know get to know with the help of one of the technology called us uh blockchain technology using crowdfunding okay now so all the back-end transactions or every everything is transparent okay until the start of your uh, bank deposit to the uh, spent of your money where it has been spent everything will be recorded okay so this is one more uh, you can create the campaign uh, uh, using uh, uh, you know we have some uh, 
uh, web application and uh, using metamask whatever the transaction happened uh, we have used a pseudo currency value you can uh, uh, use upis or whatever for your regular application or uh, right now we have used uh, metamask as pseudo currency and pseudo currency if you want to integrate upis you can use it and one more application i uh, i feel it's pretty uh, fascinating and important called as ips and many of you people know about bit torrent application correct right? uh, many people will download the videos or uh, uh, download the movies and all the type of bit torrent application it was very widely used application and it's a uh, peer to peer network and it is not a blockchain uh, principle and same application we have built with the help of uh, ipfs uh, internet planetary file system using uh, uh, distributed file system and whatever the files you want to upload or download you can download with the help of uh, uh, if, uh, that is considered as a transaction and that will be uh, noted by diminishing the gas points and uh, that is also built with the help of uh, you know um, my, uh, usage okay so uh, these are four applications which are old applications what were built and right now we are working on one more important application let me explain let me give some uh, you know, uh, highlight on this uh, that is, uh, uh, you know, mass card generation. Every time, wherever you go, the student has to take a photocopy of it or he has to show the mass card uh, and it should be attested by the respective authority. Uh, once it is uh, attested, then only we believe that it's an authenticated one and all. And it's a tedious job. Right? So why can't we have a... Uh, uh, you know, all the, uh, the mass card generation with the help of blockchain technology. And if I wanted to validate the blockchain, whether the certificate is valid or not, I can validate the name itself, okay, using the hash value. If the hash value is completely fine and the, uh, the mass card is tamper proof, it will be uh, fine, okay. Now, this is a one project we are right now working on it. Uh, this is all about uh, on a blockchain and application. And let me show you some uh, practical applica practical usage of it. MetaMask, uh, I will... Guys, if you have any doubts, you can put up your question, okay? So it's, uh, uh, you know, uh, extension, Google Chrome extension, you can download it. What is this MetaMask? Same as of your Google Pay, Phone Pay and all, actually. Uh, for your understanding, I, I'm telling you, you can think in that way. It's same as of like uh, some UPI payments. Okay, so you can uh, it's a Google uh, extension. I have uh, uh, okay. Uh, I have already in, uh, downloaded. So let me remove and again download. So I think I can show you the usage how to do it and all. Mm, okay. It will take small time to, okay, and I can go with this. Yes, I think uh, you can able to. Uh, I, I think it's everything is uh, going fine, right? Can I get some acknowledgement? Can I able to say it? Yes, Guru sir, we can. Okay. We understand. Then fine. <clears throat> you can have, you can, if you want to import the wallet, uh, like if you want to uh, take up the wallet from, uh, you know, if it is already there, for example, I'll show you that uh, tool also. Uh, uh, I don't know whether it's connect, whether it's, it will connect in back or not. I don't know. Uh, let me show you that also Ganache. Okay, Ganache. It's already there on my machine. I'll, I'll show you all the possible uh, uh, applications and what are the uh, resources I have. I'll share, the, share with you, all you people. If you really wanted to work and all, I can uh, collaborate with me and you can work with me also. I'll, I'll, I'll show you all the possible things. Okay. See, Ganesh, uh, uh, so Ganesh is one uh, Ethereum uh, workspace. Okay. Uh, uh, Ethereum, what is Ethereum? Uh, it is uh, one kind of blockchain. Uh, it's not a kind of, uh, you know, the types of blockchain. We have public blockchain, private blockchain. And all. I'm not talking about the, uh, it's not a type. It's a kind of tool, tool for blockchain. Okay. So what we can do is uh, we can have uh, mm, uh, this Ganesh is one kind of uh, uh, Ethereum blockchain. Uh, so let me go with the start of Ethereum.
uh, I think it will take a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, so this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, Ethereum uh, tool of explicitly for blockchain. And you can see uh, this tool consists of the address of the blockchain followed by the balance. Uh, Ether is a pseudo currency. It's a pseudo value for that. And uh, it's kind of a rupee. Let me assume it, it has a rupee. And each and every pseudo coin we have, uh, uh, you know, each and every ether we have a smallest uh, uh, unit as gas point also. Uh, no transaction happened, so everything is uh, zero. And index value start with zero and end by the last number. And this is the address. Okay. So this is the home page of the Ganache tool. And as I mentioned, gas price I have, I have gas limit. I can use this is a free tool. Again, it's an open source and it's a free tool. And uh, you can able to use the gas limit up to this value with some, I think, 100 ethers and all. Uh, there's a gas limit. And for this uh, localhost network, I have a localhost network of uh, 127.0.0.1 with a port number 8545. Uh, and uh, the network ID of this particular ga uh, no, Ganache tool is 5777. Mm, this is all about uh, uh, the home page of the Ganache tool. And we have various blocks. As I mentioned, I have not created any blocks right now, just had opened. So obviously, there's no blocks and there will be no transaction. The contracts have not yet created, events have not done anything. Log files just have created, so it will show a few things. Just had opened at 11.4 or 11.46, 4 at 46 uh, milliseconds. So I will show you that. Okay? So, Mm, uh, I I make I may not I may I, I may or may not able to connect with the MetaMask why because because of lot of uh, uh, no network uh, connectivity it will not connect also let me try so let me go with creating a wallet for this okay uh, so I agree and I'll give you a password let me give a password random password okay you can give a password any password you want. Okay. You explore, guys. You people has to explore uh, all these things. It's 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 a pretty fascinating and all. Uh, once you got a craze about working on these things, you can around say uh, play around it. It's it's kind of account one account I have. I can, uh, again in the Ethereum uh, things we have a lot of other uh, things like uh, you can import some account. Or I can create the account. A lot of things are there. So as I have only one account with a zero balance, uh, this is uh, you know, basic thing and all. So what I will try to do is I will uh, try to connect with this. Okay. So see, go to uh, accounts uh, in this. Go for the. Okay, copy the private key of this. Copy the private key of this. Okay, so and go back to your MetaMask and let me import or uh, uh, well, let me import some account. Let me check out uh, how it will be imported. Import the account. So let me type the whatever the uh, key I have taken, I'm pasting here and let me try to import. Yes, I have imported the account to, uh, it has to be uh, the bigger value, right? What's the bigger value I should get here actually? 100 uh, uh, Ether value, but it's not showing one second. Yeah, that's what, it will take some you know, time or it will, yeah, uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, so what I'll do is let me try to, yeah, it's, it's the same, uh, see whatever the job you'll do here, that will be affected for this. Then as to okay, so you, you can check out the transaction once after done, or you can check out the contracts, you can check out the blocks also, uh, you can check out uh, the log files, uh, whatever you have done, everything you can see. Here. Actually, it, it will be uh, does okay. So uh, uh, I'll go for settings and I'll uh, uh, change. Uh, it's eight five four five port number. Yeah, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. One second. Mm. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, so I have. Uh, uh, let me take up that uh, network ID and let me uh, take the uh, port one. So imported. Let me transfer some ether value for this. Let me assume some one ether. I think you know the actual ether value. The one, uh, the actual ether value will be something like dollars of this money. It will be almost 12 lakhs or 24 lakhs, uh, 12 or 13 lakhs and all. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's that what, as, as I said, the transferring uh, may have uh, you know, some problem with uh, the transactions and all. So you can try out at your end. Uh, you can uh, able to do this. It's simple. And if you face any problem and all, you can able to uh, you can able to check my videos in my YouTube uh, regarding the procedure and all. Whatever I had explained right now is the same. But as I mentioned, uh, there is uh, some problem with uh, this MetaMask tool with this uh, Ganesh. Uh, you can able to do that. Okay. So this is one important uh, uh, no, Ethereum tool where you can play around it uh, uh, with uh, all kind of. Uh, 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 operations on uh, this is something like a website or a tool and this is something like a UPI whatever the transaction you are going to do with the help of UPI that will be affected for uh, this Ganache tool okay all the things happens with the help of this Ganache tool okay? because it is locally implemented and it is uh, uh, extension of Google Chrome okay, MetaMask. so is that only one tool like this no it's not one tool I'll uh, try to show you one more uh, uh, tool uh, called uh, one second, remix ethereum.org. Okay, so uh, I think many of you people know about smart contract right, uh, in, in blockchain. Smart contract is nothing but uh, the rules and regulations for determining any operation. For example, if you are doing with some you know land ledger records, there will be some smart contract. If you're doing with some mass card generation using blockchain technology, there will be some uh, you know. Rules and regulations. Similarly, uh, the smart contracts can be written with the help of one such tool we have called as Ethereum tool. Okay, so here you can check out uh, 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 the contracts and all. So there is uh, by default this, and this language is called that uh, called a Solidity language. Solidity is nothing but uh, it's a kind of JavaScript. No need to worry. It's not instead of calling it as namespace, we'll call it as Pragma. Uh, almost uh, uh, similar syntax they use here also. Uh, you can explore it. We'll have a lot of uh, solidity videos and all. So this uh, helps you to build up, uh, you know, the complete uh, uh, smart contracts. Let me. Uh, uh, this is uh, and again, it's open source. Just that open in the browser, and it will be saved by default. All the metadata will be saved at your console. Okay, no need to worry. If you added some extra files, extra things and all, and it will be saved with your, uh, you know, repository. No need to worry. Okay, so this is one by default that given some owner contract. If you, it's kind of contract is something but a class. Okay, so you are going to create all a kind of this, and if you want to, you know, uh, compile this, you can compile. Uh, just uh, I'll compile the default one what is present here, and it will give all the results. Like uh, if you want to publish in the IPFS as I shown there, internet uh, planetary file system, or if you want, if you want just a console here. I mean, you know, output here, you can check out the compilation details here itself. Okay. How many byte code? Uh, this is a simple uh, Ethereum uh, tool, uh, Ethereum Remix tool, uh, which helps you to create the smart contracts. Okay. So uh, you may feel these are the geek words which are used. No, small, uh, these are the things, uh, you know, pillars of blockchain technology. Okay. So once after compiling, uh, you have to. Uh, you know, uh, run this deploy. You want to deploy that? You can deploy this. You can uh, see the output here. All the output uh, um, completely uh, in the uh, this. Okay. Uh, so you can check out all the details here. Okay. It's a kind of uh, you know uh, after debugging, you got uh, the hash value of this. Keeping this hash value, you can able to do the transaction with any anything. Okay. Any uh, you know, blockchain network. Okay. So this is again uh, one more the uh, 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 you know remix uh, tool. Again, if you want to deal with the small, small, small uh, you know programming stuff and all, you can refer any of the uh, you know uh, Ethereum tutorials on especially especially on solidity solidity language. 
uh, they will uh, tell you uh, from the scratch of it, like how the uh, pragma will be created, how the contract will be generated, how the contract will be connected with the other uh, other uh, you know UPAs. Like uh, here we have used coin in, in, in here we have used commonly what MetaMask, right? Uh, in the real time, you can use MetaMask or you can use our Indian uh, UPAs like uh, Google Pay phone. But how it can be connected? All those things you can learn, and by which you can able to get it. Okay, uh, so this is all about uh, a small example on this. If you have, uh, if you want more things, if you want to more, you know, want to work on this, you can please contact me. I will be helpful for you people. And uh, uh, many people are working on this at my end. If you want, I can help you out. Okay, and uh, yeah, uh, I think I have done with my uh, talk, my presentation. I have few things to share with you people, uh, like. Uh, uh, uh my time is 11 15 yeah uh see uh yeah as i mentioned uh uh this is a community where we are working uh, uh called as uh, web3 dot vvc dot ac dot in okay mm, this is the uh, community we are working if you wanted to join with uh no external mentors and advisors and uh, we, we are working on all this so it's like solidity mainly ethereum this is our main key concern areas where we are working on this and yeah uh about the projects whatever we built as i already explained the pet shop if you want to see a say, demo on all this the video has been embedded you can check out the videos and how it has been does and all and it's open for you people it's not about uh, uh you know uh, we are, we'll show them more. We have you can uh, refer the papers on this also. We have the uh, papers on this also. You can check out the papers. You can download. You can see it. And all. And as I mentioned, as we are right now working on one of the project called uh, storing confidential data and files using blockchain technology. It's a broad area, but uh, we'll call uh, explicitly. We can call it as uh, mm, what masker generation. Actually, we thought of implementing for our university, like our institution first. Once it's uh, for the test data, once it works finally, we thought of implementing for the higher level, okay. like for the other universities, like uh, for the consultancy for other universities, other institutions, and all. Uh, well, uh, it's it's almost done. We are on the test bit. We are we are uh, working on the test data. Uh, on this. Okay. this this is what our people and students are working on. This, if you really want to join this, you can join this as an external body. We are. Uh, Happy to welcome you people for this committee. Okay, it's called as blockchain. And yeah, this is one thing we have three points to the community. And uh, yeah, and I have a couple of journals on blockchain. Okay, so uh, for more details on me, you can check out my website. All uh, the journal details and all I had given here. Like one is, uh, mm, yeah. Uh, I'm one of the editorial board member of this. If you really wanted to write, and you'll get a lot of uh, blockchain papers, like cryptocurrency, recent papers, uh, like uh, all the recent papers here. Uh, if you are willing to uh, have any papers because it's not open access uh, uh, journal, all has to be paid and all. If you really wanted to uh, wanted any paper in this journal, uh, feel free to ask me so I can support you guys with the paper. And if you want to publish any paper, uh, on the blockchain, uh, I am one of the editorial board member of this blockchain journal. So feel free to contact me so I can help you out on uh, this. Okay. Uh, any topic related to blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, not uh, or it might be a general topic like uh, uh, crypto, uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, all any related to this, uh, it's expert. Uh, I think for more details of my web updates on me, like any other uh, uh, journals and all, you can check out my website. Uh, it's me, Guru.in, and uh, feel free to contact me for any time. I'll help you out. Okay? And I have left out with uh, one, one, okay. 11 minutes, I guess. So can we have some question and answer? Uh, Guru, sir. See. I am part of this uh, um, workshop organizing team, but unfortunately, I got an opportunity to listen all of you. So in all of your, hello, can you hear me, Guru? Please, please, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay. 
so i am keep on hearing you people and uh, many techno because i am not a guy of uh, blockchain and iot okay so my area is of research is uh, security in cloud so i got to know like it is very secure okay that is what uh, you people are explained to me uh, explain to us uh, but uh, recently one incident has happened some hacker is arrested we got to know like he is collected the cryptocurrencies all over the world okay so i uh, hacked them and uh, uh, he is collected them i to read the paper uh, article so my question is whether these cryptocurrencies are really sa- safe and secure are the people can directly i mean they can make their mind to in- invest on these currencies so what is your answer sir uh, yes uh, yeah a yeah, very good question thanks for asking this question and i cannot give a valid answer for this i can give uh, my thoughts and views or uh, my perspectives why because i think we all know that bitcoin is not legally permissible the yeah, permission has been given in india we all know that why because it's a democratic country we all know that without having uh, bitcoin itself we have a lot of illegal stuff and all happening right now so if you would have given the support or if you would have legalized bitcoin uh, i think you can check out the you uh, know strategy or <laughs> you can check out the things what will happen so uh, yeah uh, the uh, i i got to came to know that incident also uh it's not that uh, he uh, no he if it is valid or if it is legalized uh, in uh, india obviously he will be not caught correct as it is not legalized in india he got caught and he got punished he got he is beyond the odds or he got some you know uh, no uh, no punishable things so he, he he got something correct no so uh, bitcoin we you know, and few people will ask him one more question like so you say that it's not legalized in india why the people are giving lot of advertisements on bitcoin or bitcoin applications see uh, it's not about giving advertise uh, it, uh, we will have lot of other advertisements also but no amendment or no government of india has stated it is legalized like for example i have uh, 5000 uh, uh, bitcoins i think you all know the value of a bitcoin one bitcoin is equal to almost 49 lakhs i guess i don't remember uh yeah 40 some it was 34 lakhs 34000 i think it's a huge amount right see for example uh, aha uh, bitcoin below bitcoin we have point 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 one bitcoin and all after one bitcoin uh, in if you would have wherever the nations they have legalized they can go to bank they can convert the bitcoin to real currency and they can uh, tra- uh, now make transfer that amount to their bank account and they can spend it but that is not possible in india so what he did is he caught those other you uh, know nations or other things uh, uh, currency and his idea was with my knowledge as i mentioned it i cannot give a valid 100% answer if we can give the perspectives on this okay so what i believe is uh, he thought of going to the other uh, you know by using his connections or he will transfer and he'll get the money and he'll share the money with his friend and he that's i don't know so uh, that is what uh, the thing it's not about the uh, Uh, the legal issues of bitcoin is uh, not at all legalized in india so i preferably suggest many people even today also my, even my students many people have uh, invested for amount on bitcoin instead i suggest them to give uh, impl- uh, give on share because once a uh, government of india immediately announced that whatever the bitcoin is spent it will be not at all you know considered it will be uh, some action that taken it will be completely nullified zero understand so uh that is my perspective uh, towards uh, the incident happened so i think i had given my justification te- technically my question is see is it really the blockchain can be broke broken because see uh, it's a trust of uh, no 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 see uh, that what uh, from the from the initial talk only i mentioned very clearly bitcoin will be used for the transaction of the blockchain kindly my dear audience my dear friends don't get confused with the bitcoin and blockchain many people will have the same misconceptions as say so what i had uh, clearly defined bitcoin is a pseudo currency that will be used just for the transaction blockchain is a technology see i have used blockchain for lot of application It does not mean that I have used bitcoin no I have not at all used bitcoin see bitcoin is a pseudo currency that will be invested that will be used for n number of things so let me give a layman example you have some 100 rupees of money it does not mean that you have to invest only on the bank you can invest on bar you can inv- go to temple you can do whatever you want 
Similarly, the same Bitcoin, he can invest on anything. But the technology that will be used for decentralization is blockchain technology. Okay, my doubt is, see, uh, what you said is exactly correct. Okay, uh -huh. so it's a currency, means data. Okay, to protect the data, you are using the technology, right? So that is what you mean to say. Yes, yes. For data protection, we are using blockchain technology. Yeah, correct. Okay, so if he is stealing the data means, okay, where is the protection comes? No, no, no. He has not at all used blockchain technology. He has not at all used any kind of, uh, uh, he had uh, theft the Bitcoin using cyber attacks. No point of blockchain technology. I think uh, you can read out the same news things again. They have not at all mentioned blockchain technology anywhere. He did some cyber attack and he took the you know, uh, Bitcoins, that's all. He never uh, broke the blockchain and all. I think uh, uh, you can, uh, with my knowledge, you can read out that article again. They have not mentioned any kind of the broke on the blockchain. No, no, no. <laughs> See, in paper article and all technology wise, uh, we can't get in complete details because uh, it is not uh, permissible for them to. So what generally I got the doubt is, see, uh, we are using sir, the, yeah, sir, uh, the thing is, I understood your question, sir. When they were, whenever they use Bitcoin, obviously, the Bitcoin itself is illegal. Obviously, they can use blockchain technology. My point, my uh, justification for your question is, blockchain technology. They ha he didn't even touch any blockchain technology. Bit sir, Bitcoin is a storable currency. That's all. He can, it, it, it will be in a wallet, a kind of uh, no, pseudo currency. Okay, so he's he stolen those bitcoins. It does okay. not mean that he broke the blockchain. Mm -hmm. That what not only you, many people have a same kind of misconception that bitcoin they have stolen is blockchain. No, 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 that is what I'm telling you from the scratch. No, bitcoin is totally different. See, for example, I'll store the bitcoin. For example, I can store my hundred rupees in my wallet, I can store the hundred rupees at my home. I can store the 100 rupees wherever I want. It does not mean that we are, uh, if somebody attacked that 100 rupees, does not mean that he broke the complete system of my security. No, it is all about the blockchain technology is totally different. There is no point of blockchain technology is completely relevant to Bitcoin. Whatever he stolen, no, he stolen the direct wallet, the wallet of whom some person. How he stolen? He uh, 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 he uh, used some attack on cyber security and he stolen. He does not mean, see, cyber security, uh, see, uh, blockchain technology will secure the data for, uh, you know, uh, uh, see, that what the people will came to know and he, uh, you know, uh, you know, get to arrest him. Else, the people will uh, not get to know it. Why? Because of the transparency. The people immediately came to know that something has happened. Immediately, they took the action. Okay. That is what I am talking about. If that is the case, the people will not at all get to know after five, after five years or 10 years, they came, to, they came to know that something happened, they take the action. It does not mean that blockchain technology is no way concerned with Bitcoin. Probably he may mark the user credentials and... Uh... Yeah, yeah. That is all about cyber uh, blocking cyber attacks. That's all. Yeah, There's yeah. no point of uh, blockchain technology. See, I'm implementing blockchain technology on, uh, for example, uh, mask generation, an example. Hmm. Uh, I have not at all a point of Bitcoin here. Hmm. Understood. Blockchain technology is, is a methodology. Okay, it's a complete fine. procedure. Fine, fine. It's, it's a kind of process. May okay. people use uh, uh, no currency for transaction? Or may not use. That depends. Okay. He stolen the wallet Bitcoin using cyber attacks, cyber theft. Okay. I don't know whether I had convinced or not. This is what uh, my <laughs> perspective yeah, on yeah. Uh, the incident. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Guru. Yes, yes. Any other questions, sir? Our audience, if Are you, you have any questions, please post yeah. in the chat window. I'm very happy to uh, discuss. It's an open platform to learn. Uh, no questions. Uh, uh, so, if no questions, uh, or else you can, uh, I know, uh, me your questions, or you can contact me with my mail ID. Let me share. Uh, thank you. Yes. Uh, 
I think if no questions, yeah, eleven twenty nine. Can we wind up, sir? Uh, uh, Guru, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, I re really like your openness, your uh, uh, willingness to collaborate with the people to work. So it's really uh, thanks. It's a nice of you for accepting our invitation and being part of this workshop. So always you are a proud alumni of uh, CAT College. Uh, thank you, thank you, Guru. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to render a session on blockchain technology. Feel free to contact me for any kind of uh, you know, collaboration. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Sir, I'll leave, sir. Thank you. Dear participants, I posted the attendance link. Kindly mark the attendance and also know your uh, test results. Uh, I'll repeat, uh, you should have 80% of attendance and 60% of marks to qualify for the final test. The next session will start exactly at 11.45. Thank you.